James, we're looking ahead to the final group game against Ajax tomorrow. What, what kind of match are you expecting here? Uh, I think we'll expect something similar to you know the previous matches. A really good opponent, uh, really tough. Um, but I think we are all looking forward to it. We're excited, and you know we really want to you know finish the the group stage off with a positive result. Yeah, and to be able to get a positive result tomorrow in, in front of the home fans, what would that mean to the squad? Yeah, I think it would um, you know help everyone's confidence a little bit. Um, you know we've been in a lot of these games for stretches, but haven't put together a full ninety minutes. So. I think if we're if we're going to get a good result, um, it, it starts with that, and you know I think we're all just looking forward to to the opportunity again. And just looking back briefly on the weekend performance against Aberdeen, how, how pleased were you all with with that as a group? Yeah, that uh, you know from a playing perspective felt much better than than it has in in previous weeks, and you know for us it's all about building on that um, different sort of opponent, obviously, but I think some of the you know fundamentals can say the same and. Um, you know, as I said, we're we're looking forward to another another good test tomorrow. And the squad showed a, a real togetherness again at, at the weekend. How important is is that quality within the group? Uh, it, it's massive, and you know, these Champions League games haven't always gone our way. But you know, I think, you know, at the at the base of it, we can all stick together. And you know, I think on the weekend, going down a goal and then you know responding with four kind of shows that togetherness. And you know, that, that's a big part of what makes this group uh, what it is. And for you personally, at the weekend as well, you played a few different positions. How, how do you find that and adapt into that during a game? Yeah, you know, you prefer to play in one position all the time, but, you know, I, I realise this is a, a very good squad. So if um, going back and forth between positions keeps me on the field, then, you know, I'm happy to do it. And, you know, that's, that's what the team needs at the minute. So I'll, you know, keep doing that. And how important are those relationships on the pitch that, that you can all move about easily like that and, and really adapt in those situations? Yeah, I think, um, you know, having good relationships with the guys next to you just makes everything easier. Um, you know, you're more willing to communicate, uh, you know, help the guy next to each other. And, you know, we can see with these top teams that, you know, sometimes that's what makes the difference. And in terms of the game tomorrow night, are you expecting a, a different challenge to what you maybe faced in Amsterdam in September? I, I think we're more prepared for, um, you know, what kind of level these teams are. Um, I think that was maybe a bit of a shock to a lot of the players, um, but having gone through you know four more games like that, I think we're we're better prepared and you know we're really ready to step forward and, and get a positive result from the game.